universal truth for dummies, right? Before embarking on this next theme, we got to outline a context that presents a new way of looking at life, a new paradigm, one that lets us be happier and understand human beings. You don't have to agree with everything that follows or believe anything because we're not talking about beliefs. All you have to do is see how your own life changes after applying this information to see how it works for you. If the results inside are you are happy, peaceful, and you're in harmony, you'll find this information to be true. And if the external results in terms of relationships and health and resources and how you adapt to the environment improve, then you'll verify that this information is wisdom. The purpose of the human experience is to evolve. The purpose of the human experience is to evolve, develop our own consciousness, and so be filled with wisdom and love. Each and every one of us has come to this world to work on our spiritual development, sharing and participating in experiences with other human beings. Life is actually a process in which the universe teaches us. Planet Earth is a spiritual school, and each life experience is like one academic year. Spiritual uh, development is an internal and so absolutely individual and personal task. Nobody can do it for anyone else, yet nor can we do it without another. In other words, we need to interact and share experiences with other people in order to achieve our own development, to know ourselves. Sometimes instead of getting on our own development, we try to interfere with other people's. And instead of learning from them, we try to change them. All this does is distort the learning or attempt to distort it, and this complicates life itself. Only if we can understand this, we can be uh, efficient by asking ourselves what life wants to teach us in each situation. Because each is part of a learning process. In short, we have to learn to turn ignorance into wisdom. When we notice that suffering is disappearing, that our inner peace is becoming invulnerable, and that our own capacity to create love and serve is expressed without any condition or restriction, it means that we have achieved wisdom. In order to lay the foundations for a new civilization that will bring a greater level of satisfaction for everyone, we must start by harmonizing ourselves. To do this, it is essential to study the universal laws and apply the principles that lead to wisdom. We should bear in mind that only by sustained practice and discarding theories and ideas that prove to be mistaken can we really achieve wisdom. We should bear in mind that only by sustained practice and discarding theories and ideas that prove to be mistaken can we really achieve wisdom. This way we can develop peace and harmony directly on the ground with the teaching of daily life because life is the best school and nature is the best teacher. All we need to achieve efficiency is to stop arguing with the perfect order of the universe. Mental inefficiency is necessary in order to discover through saturation that the law of the universe exists. When we reach the point where we have suffered enough, we are ready to understand the laws. Internal opposition must stop before external opposition can. Internal opposition must stop before external opposition can. And for this to happen, we have to have accepted that everything that exists and everything that happens is perfect and necessary because its purpose is one of love. Studying and understanding why things exist and why they happen can lead us to recognize the laws, which in turn makes it possible to create a better future for mankind. There are seven laws that govern all of the universal processes of creation, administration, and evolution. Of the seven, four are fundamental, for they co control the development and evolution of the consciousness of the human species anywhere in the universe. These four laws form the lower triangle of the laws, while the law of evolution is the superior law that governs the inferior triangle, which is also known as the triangle of hell, because it is the lowest part of the universal laws. We will be within the law. When we love, enjoy, and value what we have, we will be within the law. When we love, enjoy, and value what we have, everything within the law functions well and flows on its own. Anything that brings suffering, anguish, pain, and illness happens because we are going against the laws, and that is how we are going to recognize them. The results we obtain when we go outside the laws enable us to recognize their existence. We have to make mistakes to be able to discover the law. Mistakes are not the problem. The problem is not learning from them. The law is designed so that we ourselves make a change, not so that we try and change others. It is important not to confuse the universal laws with human laws or rules. The universal laws are immutable and non-reparable. Their origin lies in the wisdom of the absolute or divinity, and therefore they are absolute. They cannot be amended or negotiated, and disobeying them brings a negative outcome in the sense of unpleasant and also a positive outcome in the sense 
of it being a learning experience. That is why it is said that, in fact, human beings do not construct laws. What we do is issue rules. We call them human laws, but they are rules because they are reparable, transitory, and useful for a given moment. We have come to a planet Earth to develop three inner virtues, happiness, inner peace, and love, or service to others. This development brings with it excellent results in all four fields of relationships, resources, health, and adaptation to the environment. Here we're going to start with some really, really fundamental virtues and definitions of said virtues that we often use in conversation but have defined in other ways, happiness is a virtue. The characteristics of happiness is 0% suffering, 100% understanding, 100% self-worth, peace, 0% conflicts, 0% reactivity, 0% confrontation, 100% respect, love, 100% capacity for service, 0% resistance, 0% fear. 100% adaptation, 100% commitment. Happiness, peace, and love are principles of the divine essence. They have no polarity. They are immutable. Learning to be happy. To learn to be happy, we have only to face up to all that we believe takes our happiness away. To be happy, we do not need anything outside of us, just understanding and a certain attitude of mind. Non-acceptance is the only cause of suffering. We must stop arguing with reality. It is essential to stop working on others and work only, work only and exclusively on ourselves, changing what is inside of us that is annoying the ego so that it stops doing it. If there's suffering, then just one question needs to be asked. What is it that I'm not accepting? That is where the answer is to be found. Everyone without exception has what they need to be happy. However, very few people know how to be happy with what they have. Learning to be peaceful. Nothing and no one brings peace. Inner peace is the result of one's own spiritual development, not a gift. Handling peace requires several elements, clear and accurate information to understand that life is a process of love and that evil does not exist. The skill to manage one's own vital energy and training. If peace is lost, we must ask ourselves, what am I resisting? What do I want to change? Who am I blaming? Learning to love one's neighbor as oneself. All this requires is to be involved or share time with people whose behavior is very different to our own. To learn to love and respect them just as they are. Love cannot be offended because it is invulnerable, immutable, universal, and neutral. Love signifies total understanding of the universe. It is a way of being and does not need an object on which to project itself. Love is not a force. It is a tool. Love is not a feeling. Love is always giving the best of oneself. If there is a lack of motivation, the best thing is to wonder, why am I allowing the specific situation to limit my capacity for service? which in reality should not depend on external events. By developing the three inner virtues, excellent outer results are obtained in all four spheres, in relationships, in resources, in health, in adapting to the environment. Like, yeah.